Oh, it's a big Suko. Oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, he's coming for us, guys. But he, he wants to fight. All right. All right, we'll do this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Sir Chomps a Lot here on the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, and you guys can just call me Jay here. And we're on, I don't really know, episode 7, I think? Maybe? All I do know is that we are on Subadult, because at the end of last episode, if you guys missed it, we hit Subadult in the Marsh, which was awesome. A round of applause for Sir Chomps a Lot. But that means as soon as we dive in here we can start looking at new abilities. I made sure, like always, to, uh, you know, after I end the episode, I run off to a home cave, so we have nice rested bonus for the next episode. But let's check out new abilities. I actually haven't peaked. Even though we hit sub-adult, I didn't really take a look. So let's go to character, let's go to abilities, and let's see what we've got, right? Senses. Dictating membrane. Okay, see clear underwater. A lot of creatures actually have this. Um, I saw this when I was playing the duck. Big old big bird, the dino -curus. Um That one's not super necessary i mean i might get it later why not right okay here this one's pretty big so we have standard hide streamline and tough skew it's just straight up increases armor that's that's got to be what we go for right how much 800 let's actually see how much marks we have we have 3672 okay so probably enough to buy some abilities here but then we're we're gonna be we're gonna be capped out right we're gonna be uh, cashed out i should say um so let's check out our other options before i grab that Traction, um, I did see some of you guys were saying to just not bother getting traction. Um, I, I kind of agree. I'm kind of like 50-50 and yeah, kind of leaning maybe 60-40 on the side of not getting this, but it's an okay ability to have available. And then uh, two front limb slots, but still only one attack. Um, so, you know, I guess cross our fingers for more updates because that seems to be what they're doing with all these dinosaurs, right? They give us little open boxes and they're like, yeah. You don't got anything yet, but maybe soon, you know. <laughs> All right, but let's definitely buy, let's definitely buy tough scutes because there, I see no downside. Like standard seems to be the worst one, and you got to go with streamlined or tough scutes depending on, you know, if you want to be kind of like the swimming spino or if you want to be uh, a little bit more defensive. And I do like defensive. I do kind of want to be a little bit more. Um, combat ready on land whereas i do know if i go for streamlined um, i'm super fast and i can swim down like ducks and um i don't think i can swim down sarcos maybe i can i don't have all the uh the speed numbers memorized in my brain but just from past experience right but yeah let's go ahead and get that which is a big upgrade that is awesome and uh i think we'll just go with that maybe yeah let's spend some money why not Let's get the dictating membrane, make everything look nice and clean for you guys in the water. Although sometimes I feel like it takes away the atmosphere. Like if you're in the swamp, you kind of want it to be murky, but then this guy is like not murky anymore. So anyway, you lose a little bit of immersion, but it does, it does add to gameplay. <laughs> All right, let's get out in the world, shall we? Okay, so we're over here at Sanctuary Isle. It was the closest uh, location to um, where we were at the end of the last episode, which is the Swamp. Sharp Tooth Marsh, or as I love to incorrectly say all the time, Salt Tooth Marsh. <laughs> but anyway, the Salty Sharp Tooth Marsh um, is actually where I want to go today. I do want to spend a good amount of time and I want to complete some quests. I think hanging out there as a subadult uh, sub uh, spino might get us into a fight, but a fight that will be well suited for right so i'm excited to kind of go down there um however i do see that we have to uh find the location of savannah grassland which is uh, you know i'm not gonna not do that right and it's also wanting me to get some starfish which are right here so i'm gonna kind of quest my way on over there um but you guys should know how this works by now or if you're new to the episodes um i recommend you check out the whole series because sir chomps a lot is almost to adult he's got quite the adventure behind him and a lot more ahead but as I was saying, is as you guys might know, um, I'm going to start questing, doing things, and bring you guys in when something interesting happens or I think of a thought to talk about. Let's get the adventure today underway. All right, everybody. So I knocked out that quick starfish quest, and I start, you can see on the right, I actually started to do sea anemones, but they're just kind of too sparse for me to really want to spend the time, uh, especially because you can see my water. Of course, it's going down. Name of the game, right? <laughs> uh, but I do think we can make it over to maybe the hot springs if we want to go over the pass. But I could also just go to the um, like the new spot in Sharptooth Marsh um, and kind of drink there. I think we we'd make there in time. Although I do have to think about we are getting bigger, right? So it just takes a lot more water 
in general to actually fill Sir Chomps a lot here. So maybe the Hot Springs would actually be a good a good place to go, and then we can kind of go over Desolus Pass. I think that could be pretty cool. Okay, but you just saw we went to Savannah Grasslands, which is sick. Tiger Nuts. Uh, should we do Tiger Nuts? They're not too hard, but getting up into the Savannah Grassland might be... Eh, screw it. Let's walk on up there. Kind of see what's going on. I worry about the Savannah Grassland because, like... We're getting big. We're getting slow. I mean, we've always been kind of slow, right? Uh, but we're getting to the point now where, you know, big old T-Rexes or packs of Metries, like, people that are, like, fully grown and looking for a fight, they see a sub-adult Spino and they're like, yo, challenge accepted. You know what I mean? So we're not so worried about everything anymore, but we're worried almost a little bit more about, like, the big, bad groups of people out here, right? Uh, and, of course, this is official server, so we gotta really be aware of everybody, like, you know, two AO trikes or two uh, Styraticosauruses could just start charging us left and right, like, there's so many things can happen on official. Totally the Wild West out here. Um, but, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll look for these Tiger Nuts. I think we'll just kind of slowly march our way towards the Hot Springs and just kind of, I'll keep an eye on my, uh, my thirst meter here you know we are also very due to get a new skin i love trying to get um, once i purchase all my abilities for a sub adult every creature i play that's when i want to start buying a skin um so you can kind of see it you know it sheds for five minutes or whatever and you see like most of it but then as you kind of grow into full adult it like really comes um into its into its own right um, so yeah, we gotta we gotta sit down and really spend some good time. Maybe we'll do it at the hot springs once we actually have um, some water next to us. Uh, but I want to sit down and I want to look through all the skins. I want to look at the options of colors of the patterns of the skins, right? And we want to find the most shining knight uh, silver, basically, for Sir Chomps a lot here. I think he's gonna be really flashy. It'll be really cool. Oh, uh, we got flowers, multiple types of flowers, and cactuses here. But no tiger nuts. I think I remember seeing the tiger nuts pretty much like in the center of the savanna, to be honest. Um, they're by like the like the group of uh, insects, termite mounds. That's the word I was trying to look for. So we might not actually see them as we kind of cross through here. Because I am going to have to take this land bridge coming up. Not the one just to our right, but the next one. So yeah, sorry, tiger nuts. You're definitely one of the hardest quests to find like item to find on the ground <laughs> so not today okay here's our land bridge heading on over not that we need it i guess we could swim across right <laughs> but here's our land bridge heading on over to the hot springs it's totally quiet out in savannah i mean i didn't go into the center so i guess i didn't really see if there was any of those packs of theropods wanting to hunt me down also okay that isn't good. <laughs> Let's, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna take any parkour chance with, uh, Sir Chomsalat. Let's just swim, I guess. Screw the land bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's way more our, uh, that's way more our style. <laughs> okay, guys, approaching the hot springs now, but I did just hear a splash down by the river where we were. So, we'll see what it is if they decide to come up here. But I heard a pretty big thud and a splash, so could be a few things. All right, welcome to the hot springs. Do you wonder if anybody is chilling here? There's usually some people that hang out here, to be honest. Like almost. Oh, yep. I'm hearing sounds to my left, to my right. What do we got? Sounded like something's like standing up. Sounded really close. Okay, not exactly sure what it- Oh, there it is. It's a little Metri. What's up, Metri? I'm just getting a drink, buddy. I don't have to worry about you at all, unless you've got like 18 friends. <laughs> I don't think that's what I heard, though. Maybe it was. Not sure. He's he's eyeing me, though. He gave me the little crouch. The little, I'm friendly. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't hurt me. It's like, yeah. I don't think I'm going to catch you. No, I, I'm definitely hearing something bigger over in that direction. Like, down the hill. Little Metro, you might need to worry about whatever I'm hearing, buddy. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is uh, this is snack time. So while I keep an eye on this Metro and keep my heads over 
over there. Um, this part of the video where I ask you guys what you are eating and drinking in today's video. Today I've got, uh, I've just got water, to be honest. Had a good day, I, uh, worked out, took a- Oh, it's a big suko. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're... Actually, a l fully grown? That could be dangerous. Let's see what he wants to do. He sits down, okay. I'm- I'm not gonna front on him. I'm gonna slowly walk away. But, uh, yeah, let's just kind of, let's just kind of get away from that guy. Oh, did you see that? Hey, where did he go? He, like, disappeared when I spun the camera. <laughs> oh, there he is. Please don't, uh, hunt me down, Suko. Oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, he's definitely thinking about it. Shoot! That's, like, the one guy that could kill us. Oh, have mercy, buddy. Have mercy. I can't run. There's no point in me running. Shoot. Yeah. Ah, damn it. I don't really know if, what I can do. If a big Suko wants to kill me, he's faster on land. He's bigger. There's no water to run away. Shoot, guys. He's coming for us, too. He is definitely coming for us. Little, little raptor, help me. Go for the raptor. Go for the raptor. God damn it. Oh, he's coming for us, guys. I'm gonna talk to him. Hey. What's good? Friends? Friends? Friends, question mark? Please be friends. He's actually... Yeah, he looks fully grown, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm big. It might not be a complete dead end if he fights me. He's sizing me up for sure. Oh, he's being he's being scary. I don't want to fight, my dude. I really don't. I really don't want to fight. But he, he wants to fight. Alright. Alright, we'll do this. We shall do this. I don't want to, but we'll do it. Come here, come on down. See if you can handle ups and downs in the river. Your bleed ain't doing anything to me. Come here. Come here, buddy. You gotta be more aggressive than that if you want to win this fight. I can I can face tank you more or less. Come here. <laughs> yeah, you you better get away too. I'll snap at you. Alright, you second guessing yourself? I think he thinks he has a lot of bleed on me. And, uh, it's really not doing much. Keep in mind, guys, I can use the, uh, the water here to heal. I don't know if he knows that as well. So I kind of want to keep him out of the water as much as possible. Stay in the water as much as possible. I'm getting damage on him. I'm hitting him more than he's hitting me, so... I really do... Th he's playing, like, bleed is, like, affecting him a lot. Or affecting me a lot, but... No, I feel like I've got way more bleed on him. Okay, I'm running a little low on stam. I gotta be aware of that. I'll chase you in the water. Come here. Going under. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a Megalania in here too. Oh boy. Oh shoot, I don't want to get caught like weak at the end and have the Megalania kill me. Oh, things just got crazy, guys. Okay, I wanna ugh, shoot. I, I'm worried about the Megalania coming in here and uh getting kind of a kill at the end. You stay away, buddy. What is going on? The Metri's here. Bunch of guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. He does want some of me. You little bugger. Oh, everyone's gonna be gunning for me. Here, fight me in the water. Fight me underwater. Get my claw attack on him. Actually, the water's kind of dangerous. Except for the healing. Get some tail slaps in. Oh, the Suka's coming back. Don't everybody attack me. Come on. Don't chew it, man. That sucks. I hate losing fights when it's two against one. That's so not fun. God. It's so irritating where they're both fighting me. I don't really know what... He can turn faster than me. I don't really know how to... Ugh, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Bite him. Uh, I'm dead, guys. Even if I defeat one of these guys, I don't think I'm defeating them both. 
What are the chances that they're both together? That's so lame, man. Better take a fun fight and ruin it. Ah. Actually, Suka's looking almost dead. Maybe I kill him. Come here, Suko. I'll fight you to the end. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> I'm gonna die and it's not fair at all. Sucks. Definitely sucks. Well, I'd say GG, but it definitely wasn't fair. That sucks. Whatever. We go again. Oh, jeez. Okay, I just spawned. There's already a big-ass duck. Leave me alone. <laughs> I want nothing to do with you right now. Ah, that sucks, guys. All right. Well, we didn't lose too much, to be honest. Let's see, what are we at? Character... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, yeah, we lost, like, just the few quests I did today. So it's no big deal, but it is kind of annoying. Don't you mess with me, though. I want nothing to do with you. Like, I just spawned. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, he's coming into the water. I mean, he doesn't know I just died. Unless he saw me spawn, so I can't blame him. But, like, that's a really bad stroke of luck if I get chased by this guy too uh, he gave up he's like nah not worth it damn it guys I really do think I would have beat that Suko. Uh, but the Megalania just kind of showed up and what are you gonna do when you've got a little fucking ankle biter chomping at your feet and then the big guy has already taken away half your HP ah frustrating definitely frustrating oh the duck is coming back over here all right well I ah lame I wanted to uh, kind of quest in the, the sharp tooth marsh but now we're all the way back down here in ripple beach where we were a few episodes ago which is not where i want to be to be honest but i guess you got to roll with the punches and do what you got to do as annoying as it is though guys i gotta keep telling myself and telling you guys that's that's how it is out here on officials right so if you don't want that to happen don't play on officials play on the rule servers but the problem i have with rule servers is like people just I don't know, they, they don't, they almost don't act realistic. I mean, I, I know that that fight that I just died wasn't really realistic unless the Megalania wasn't with the Suko, um, which is possible, right? If you're just playing the Megalania, you see like, oh, this guy's hurt. You can kind of like jump on him, which you can't do in the rule server, right? There's called no third partying um, combat. So you're, it's just the, it's the two people engaged and you can't just like show up and start fighting. Um, which is good for like a fair fight, sure, but does kind of take away the fun of like being the Megalania, right? Where you're like, oh, like this guy's weak. I can take advantage of that. Um, so it's hard to find like a perfect world where you can kind of do what you want, but you don't want to get third party. So, you know, like if pick or choose your poison, right? I play on both servers and I'm just kind of aware of where I am when, uh, like when I'm on each server, so when I'm here, I'm aware, you know, do whatever you want, be be afraid of everything. Um, and downside is that you might, yeah, get double teamed in in a fight like that. <laughs> so it's okay, shake it off. We'll move on. Um, we'll hang out here in Ripple Beach for a bit, cause like I said, you gotta roll with the punches, right? <laughs> so let's get some clams. Also, snack time was incredibly rudely interrupted. What the heck? I was saying, guys, that I'm just drinking water, which is basic, basic old water today, because uh, I was having a good day. I'm still having a good day, but I was having a great day <laughs> before I died. Um, got some work done, did a whole workout, had a cold shower, because if you guys don't know, I live in the desert, so uh, cold showers are incredibly nice every now and then. Um, and as far as snacks go, I've got some string cheese, specifically like the, uh, what, f the Frigo cheese heads? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the half half cheddar, half jack stuff. They're really good. Um, big, I'm a big uh, string cheese fan. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys are eating and drinking down below. And uh, hopefully it's not Spino. 
Otherwise, you're one of those two guys who killed me. <laughs> Damn, you know, I honestly think, like, the worst part about that is I lost all my rested bonus. I was going to be rested all the way up to uh, one bar, and uh, now I'm not. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys, well, let's um, let's pull over here, and uh, let's take a, take a while to look at the skins. I want to really kind of go through them with you guys as we, as we kind of look for this silver one. So let's kind of put me in a safe-ish spot. Uh, I got full food. Water's good enough, right? Okay. Skins. So let's go ahead and look down the line here and see if any of them... Excuse me. <clears throat> it's that water. <laughs> uh, see if any of them uh, kind of match what we're looking for. So we've got Swamp here. Swamp is a little silver, but it's kind of green on top. Uh, I'm just going to kind of click the silver ones to see if... If it's what we want. Yeah, so that fin... Oh, with the blue, it's not bad. We could we could be like silver and blue. Let's see what else we got. Water Dragon... Looks to be kind of reds and orange, reds and greens. We have autumn, which is oh, it's got some got some grays, uh, but it's kind of like really reddish. Oh, there's a I wish I could click that randomize button before I bought it. What the heck? Dang. Okay. Um, pinstripe. Ooh, this might be the silver one that we're looking for. Let's see. If we made everything super silver. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this might be the one. Oh, it's 7,500, too. Uh, making that black looks kind of cool. Black and silver? That's kind of knightly, right? It's kind of like... We're trying to put him in a suit of armor, right? Oh, um, we've got, like, a little top flare here, which I guess could be white. And then with... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, Sir Chomps. That could be good. All right, let's quickly look at some other ones, but I think... I think Pinstripe is probably going to be the winner. Uh, this one's got too much reds. This one's got a lot of yellows and oranges. I spot has some cool things going for it. But it does look to be... Oh, it's got some silver. This one's not horrible. I, I do kind of like the other one a little bit better, though. All right, let's see. Cracked. Start going through these a little bit faster. Cracked, no. Iona. No, it's a like greens. This one's... I don't like it. Too much going on. Doesn't look realistic. Eye of the Tiger. The thrill of the fight. That oh, one's pretty cool, but doesn't have enough silvers. The blue coral, which I'm assuming is just going to have blues. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, albino. Now, we could get albino and go, like, dark albino, but I think people are going to see albino and they're going to think albino. They're not going to think silver, right? And I, I want a silver skin. And, of course, melanistic. You could go light on the melanistic but I think people are still just going to see the black melanistic. Okay, and then there's the backer skin. All right, guys, I think we have decided we're going to get Pinstripe, and uh, we're going to deck him out and have a super nice silver... Which one was it? Was it this? Fifth one? Yeah, this one. Make the make the top nice and, nice and shiny. It's going to be cool. Okay, 7,500 marks, though, so we got a while before we get there. Um, so I just got to keep doing quests, you know what I mean? Keep getting growth, but I think we should probably have that by the time we hit adult. So it'll, of course, be a few episodes, but we've got our, got our goal, right? Pinstripe, 7,500 marks. Okay, clam quest done. Flower quest done. Let's get a little bit more growth back. It's gonna take us, gonna take a little, a little bit of time to get back to where we were, to be honest. <laughs> I have noticed, though, that we were actually getting a lot of stuff in the home cave. So I think at the end of this episode, I'm going to do a few quests here. Um, I don't think we're going to be getting more growth than we had in this episode, just seeing time of the video, right? Um, but I uh, I do think we should go to the home cave, and I think we should deck it out a bit. I know we've gotten, like, turtle shells, some rocks, some flowers. It's it's all very minimal stuff, um, but we should make his home cozy. You know, I, I end there every episode, so I and start every episode there. Well, I physically go there at the end of every episode but I, I usually end it somewhere else anyway semantics uh but yeah i think we should go to the home cave we should deck it out it's part of the game i know it's not like the most interesting part of the game i think it's a very unique side of the game uh, which makes it pretty cool just in general and i do think there's a lot that they can do with it um going forward uh, like i do like the idea of like getting the trophies and bringing them back that's kind of cool um but yeah uh even if it's just some rocks and stuff i think we should make this home cave look uh, nice and nice and chilling you know what i mean 
Also, this is a little off topic, guys, but every now and then I like to kind of talk about some other games that I've been playing um, to see if you guys can relate. And uh, I think a lot of you might play this game. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently. Uh, that update 1.20 came out, right? It's got like the uh, the armor trims and the new cherry blo uh, cherry grove blossom. Wait, let me try that. Cherry Blossom Grove. <laughs> let me try to say that again. Um, but yeah, I've been playing. I got a server with me and my buddies, and we're just uh, kind of doing, doing the old school survival stuff, right? Like, I played a lot of Minecraft in my day. I've I've already gotten to the point where I had, like, an end game base. I was making mega projects, right? We had, like, a chest room that fully sorted every item in the game with multiple levels, and every room was decorated, right? Like, I've, I've already done that. So for me, now playing Minecraft is like, well... I want to play a new survival world, and I want to start fresh, because starting fresh in Minecraft, in my opinion, is the most fun to have in Minecraft. Those that first month of Minecraft, before you've beaten the dragon, um, I know you can beat the dragon day one, but my point is, if you take it slow and, like, gear up and whatnot, um, it's super enjoyable. So, yeah, I've been playing Minecraft, and I, uh, me and my buddies kind of picked a spot on this big cherry hill. It's got the cherry... We just wanted to live in the new biome, right? The cherry... Um, Cherry Grove. Cherry Blossom Grove. I really can't say that today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've been chilling. And I do plan to... Um, not to kind of self-advertise, but to completely self-advertise. I do plan to make a little video kind of just chatting with you guys and showing you uh, showing that off. But it's going to be for a um, for the channel members only. So for the squad captains. Because um, videos like that are... They're meant to be a little bit extra, right? Um, and a way to, to thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, for those who do support me on, on um, that side, you know, monetarily and all that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show that off over there, but just to kind of talk to it, to you guys, talk about it to you guys. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we live in a big hill of the cherry grove and, um, we decided that like, you know, if imagine a big mountain slapped to the side of it, we've got kind of like a switchback going up it, um, with, uh, like kind of hobbit holes up and up and down the, uh, the switchback trail on the way to the top. And so from far away, it looks really cool. And then we're also next to a village. And I've kind of decided to play the game a little bit different, um, where this time I haven't really caved too much because they changed it. They changed how caves work and uh, or caving works. And diamonds are a lot harder to find now, guys, like a lot harder. Um, and I'm comparing this to old school Minecraft where you just went down to Y11, you know what I mean? And just just dug straight and you came out with like 40 diamonds in 20 minutes yeah it ain't like that anymore <laughs> it's it's tough now um which i think is a fun thing i think it's a good thing but to kind of change it up and instead of like just caving forever i um i started spending time with villagers and so we have a village that is right next to our um, cherry grove place and i have beautified it right i've made it safe and i like to joke i've got free range villagers there so they're like free range chickens i'm not locking them up in cages to trade with them i'm leveling them up and i've made sure that the village is super safe and um that like nothing can get in there and kill it also what do we got here little packy hi little packy how's it going buddy what's up dude <laughs> do you play minecraft <laughs> Look, he froze. He just straight up, like, deer in headlights. Hi. You should get away. <laughs> Don't attack me. Are you for real? Get out of here. <laughs> Little bugger. I'm just questing. <laughs> what a what a ballsy little Packy. I probably would have done it too if I was playing Packy. I'd just bonk people and be like, hey! <laughs> Okay, we've got the Explore Quest, which is the Chain Quest. If you guys haven't seen, they added Chain Quests into the game. And uh, I think we're going to do this, and we'll end over at Frog Cave, because i got to drink fresh water. So this Chain Quest is really easy. You go to uh, the Sandy Outcrop, head on over to the Sand Cavern, and then end over at Frog Pond. And so it kind of gets you to walk around the world, um, which I've done in the past. But it was the episode where my recording messed up, and I didn't record, so I feel bad. But it is what it is. <laughs> So yeah, let me uh, let me head on over there, and then I think we'll head to the home cave, and we'll, we'll deck it out and make it nice and cozy. Okay, so this part <clears throat> is kind of cool. It's a little sand cavern that you actually can't get up from this side, so you've got to go around. I do I do hope they continue to do these um, these explore quests, because it does get people like to move throughout the zone, which I think is kind of cool. Um, anything to get players to, to move around, right, and just... Anything to stop people hanging out in Impact Crater and just sitting there and just waiting for somebody to make a wrong move and get attacked, and then five other people go and attack that one guy. 
I hate that crap. I, I only go to impact creator guys when like I'm expecting a fight and expecting to die and just kind of looking for chaos, which I do in a few of the um, the experience videos that I've made. Uh, but overall, I I I ain't even gonna mince words. I hate that stuff. It's so boring. It's just like cuddle puddle and then everybody jump on one guy. There's no skill to it. Like I don't know. It's it's dumb. But here, ba da da, is the sand cavern. Okay. Let's make our way over to Frog Pond, which is a little, a little risky. I feel like I always see people over there, um, but yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do that. <laughs> probably get probably get in the water and swim over there. It's a long walk. Not to jinx myself, guys. I've just got I've just got a bad feeling about Frog Pond when we get there. I know what it is. Maybe I haven't shaken off those vibes. Of getting killed by that Suko and the Meg. Honestly, I got killed by the Meg. That Suko fought me, but I think the Suko would have lost. But anyway, I don't know. I've just got a bad vibe. I hope, I hope I don't die in like ten minutes <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, guys, I am thirsty. <laughs> We've made it to Frog Pond. If this, um, if this doesn't have fresh water. We're going to have to do the old favorite game of drinking salt water, which is not my favorite, but Sir Chomps a lot seems to partake in it every now and then. Um, there is a, just above my head, over up there in uh, Broken Tooth Canyon, there is actually another uh, freshwater spot that I, I feel like not a lot of people know about um, or just don't bother going out to. Um, unlike Frog Pond here, which I feel like is is fairly popular. So we... We're here for the quest, but also freshwater, but if I just get the quest and have to leave, find freshwater somewhere else, it's fine. Okay, moment of truth. What's my gut feeling about being scared here? Correct. It wasn't. We look to be safe and quiet. Okay. Unless there's a... Unless there's a giant... Suko and Megalania hiding under the water. <laughs> there it is. Okay, cool. And 100% water quality. Wow. I was not expecting that. Am I right? Not bad. I think Sir Chomps looks pretty cool here. At night. Hiding in the reeds. Dipping his head under the lily pads. <laughs> it's just a cool vibe. I like it. Okay, here's the question I have. We pretty much drank our full belly. How much did that take? Okay, it took about 25% of Frog Lake. So there's a decent bit of water in there. Cool. All right, guys, let me um, let me go get us to a home cave, and then let's, uh, let's decorate it a bit before we end the episode. All right, guys, home sweet home. It's a little dark because it is, it is nighttime, but let's go ahead and customize and see what we got. I don't even know what we have. Two rocks, a milk cap. Oh, we got a rib cage, sick. And a ginger plant. So let's start with the ginger plant because I know we already have a plant, which is uh, over here with our collection of sea turtle shells. <laughs> so I guess we'll just make that rock look cooler. Why not? And then let's, uh, oh, the rocks are pretty big. Let's put like a, maybe a kitchen, whatever you want to call it, a place where he stores all of his corpses. We'll put some big old rocks over here. That looks cool enough. And then bam. Put the rib cage down and the mushrooms. I don't know. The shrooms can go. I don't. I don't know where I'm gonna put the shrooms. Oh, what the heck? That uh, that completely like ruined my game. I can't uh, I can't click or do anything. I think I have to Alt F4, guys, which is very strange. So that I think might be a bug. You saw the thing popped up, the notification of losing the quest, and it completely... I have no control of my character right now. Um, but that's fine. I'm going to end the episode anyway. <laughs> I was about to end the episode anyway. So we'll we'll end it looking at milk caps. Why not? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> totally strange. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Even though we died, um, getting into fights always fun to watch, right? So I just wish, I just wish it was a fair fight against the Suko because I really do think we would have won. We would have been really close to death. Um, but getting 2v1, it's just always, 
it always drives me nuts, man. Uh, it always seems to happen to me too in this game. I, I just I rarely get fair fights, and that's frustrating. That's what's that's the main frustration I have behind dying. It's not even dying. Like I barely lost growth. In fact, I think I ended up at the end of this episode with a tiny bit more growth than when we started. So not a full bar like I usually aim for in videos, but some at least right <laughs> but yeah let me know what you what you guys thought of that fight um and uh of this episode and uh i thank you guys for watching um if you want to kind of chat with us uh link to the discord down below if you are a discord person and like to chat out way in discord we've got that going and again like i mentioned if you want to see that minecraft video where i kind of show off my minecraft stuff and do kind of a q a um for the squad captains um that's coming out before the end of the end of the month, I always do one video every one extra video for the squad captains every month. So if you want to see that, you hit the join button down below and become a squad captain. I would thank you very much if you do. But if not, subscribe anyway. If you haven't done that yet, if you watch to the end of this video, you might like more of the stuff I do, more of uh, me making myself die to Megalanias. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, but until next time, I have been Jay. Peace out.